Good morning. I was just having a little freak out uh, that it wasn't streaming through the page, but it is. Welcome to week two. If you ever lack motivation to get up and do practice on a Sunday morning, <laughs> just stream a um, harmonic slur challenge across the planet. <laughs> That'll get you inspired. Uh, so I don't think we've got 144 on the chart yet. I'll have a talk to the powers that be and get that fixed. Uh, so I apologise. But anyway, there's enough there for us to get stuck right into. There's been some talk about whistling. I reckon I've had oh, at least three, if not more, People asking about the mau, mau, it's like whistling. And yes, it is, because what are we doing when we're whistling? We're, you know, in, not engaging. We're engaging there, but not here. No pulling in of the cheeks. But there is a difference, but there are similarities. And the, the post that I got on the forum about whistling uh, is right. We're working on the aperture corners. But the difference is, if I if I go into the, the difference there is actually the tongue position. Uh, I'm just trying to de de determine whether. Yeah, no, there you go. When you when you've got the corners at a particular and start moving the tongue around, when the resonance is right, the note will speak. You can hear it. So <laughs> this is really interesting. Really interesting. Brain in overload. So, oh, man. All right, I need to give this more thought. Check it out. So if I'm set for and then move the tongue, I'm going, da, but then if I want to whistle that pitch, wow, wow, shape change, because my whole thing, of course, in the course, of course, is the tongue position changes to change the resonance in the oral cavity to match the instrument. And uh, we could talk for hours about the Claude Gordon approach and uh, how it's sort of misleading that the tongue position changes the pitch. It doesn't. The lips change the pitch, but the tongue is a very important part of the, the sound and the, the science of the thing. So there you go. Thank you for those that are asking it. That, that mere fact, check it out. I, I don't know whether you're getting the importance of it, but if I go, then change the tongue position. Then if I go down to, it's really hard on that low note to keep changing, playing the whistling though. Oh, no, it's not. There you go. So when I'm keeping that position and moving the tongue, the note doesn't resonate. So there's a relationship between what the aperture corners are doing and what the tongue position is doing. That's really cool. So the whistling is known uh, as a Helmholtz resonator. And I've got a bottle of water, and it's water. Yes, it's water. It's Sunday morning. And, okay, sure, there were a couple of beers had last night. Uh, but not too many, just a couple, just to be sociable. And I got up and played with a gorgeous, amazing guitarist. She's just singer-songwriter. This is my life at the moment, just so you know. I had the option to be on the road with Hugh Jackman six weeks around the country. And I, the last thing I wanted to do was sit in airports 
and hotel rooms and do that gig. Now, of course, once upon a time, it would have been awesome. I said no to the gig. Yet last night, I'm playing at the Perigian Beach Hotel up here in Queensland uh, to 15 people and a dog. And it was awesome. I loved it. I loved it. But I can feel at the moment, if I was on that stage playing to 10, 15, 20,000 people, I'd, I'd be hating it. I'd be hating it. Isn't it weird? I'd, isn't it weird? Uh, we're all on a journey. <laughs> we're all, we're here to practice. We're all finding our, you know, where we're at, our purpose and how to improve. Shut up, Greg. We just want to play harmonic slurs faster. That's okay. We will. Um, but we're all, we're all on a journey. And, and mine, obviously, is this, the performance side of it, the teaching side of it. Anyway, a flute is a Helmholtz resonator. Oh, I filled it up too much. Okay. So as you know, uh... If I take it, oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna double up here. <laughs> I have a bucket for this purpose. To to if if you guys didn't see it the other day, the whole concept of mouth compression that I'll touch on. <laughs> Such an idiot. I, I sorry, my inbox and Pro Tool system just got saturated. Uh, anyway, have a listen to the difference in the pitch. <laughs> Try it. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes, this is a trumpet lesson. Oh, man. No wonder people think I'm nuts. Uh, so, the trumpet or a brass instrument is a stopped pipe. It's stopped at one end and... Uh, the lip is obviously involved in the... Now, I mean, this, again, this is an oscillation of the air column. The air is oscillating, but the lip is not engaged in it. Um, but anyway, it's just the when we're whistling, it's a Helmholtz resonator. So it's slightly different, but it's, it's um, related. And especially for our purposes of aperture corner tension, ah, oh, and learning tongue position, so it's really valid. This person on the on the forum said they were it was dismissed years ago when they were young. Whistling's got nothing to do with trumpet playing. In scientific facts, sure, the oscillation of the air column is different, but it's really related. Oh, uh, but that's that's not what I'm doing when I'm. If I was actually to do the whistle. Right, the difference is, cool, when I go into whistle mode, this is way too tight, way too tense. This is great for me to be able to see this, even though I'm not seeing it, but to <laughs> recognise this. Ah, ooh. Ah, and then so the, see if you can see the difference. Ah, and then when I go from ah to whistle, ah, 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 So there's the demonstration right there. So there's the difference. Ah, ooh, 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 ooh. So a whistle is more of a pucker, and it actually is tightening up, is clamping up the lip tissue, so you're not going to get the sympathetic oscillation. So there's the difference. Uh, so if you're thinking about the whistle, working on the whistle, just recognise that because we need that to be supple, responsive, not, not gripped. Okay, now that we've got that out of the way. Uh, so week two... Uh, oh, while well, he's live now, cool, his streaming's working, so this is good, down, 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 and we're going to go up a semitone.
big deal, you say. It is a big deal. It is a very big deal. People will say that the tongue does not change position uh, from an E flat to an E. Let me demonstrate this, if I can balance that somewhere. So, first note of the day, of course. I never warm up before these, uh, <clears throat> especially on a, on a Sunday morning. Right, check it out. The note's not changing because the resonance of the body is not matching the numbers. It's a numbers game. Resonance is two mediums oscillating at the same frequency. If the body and the instrument, if there's a disparity, you're going to get an uncentered, non-resonant sound. But the change is so subtle, most people don't recognize they're doing it. I've had people swear, you just blow faster to play higher. I don't change my lips. It is just completely misled. They've just Their awareness of what they're doing is not right. It's not right. It's not right. I will, I will stand on stage anywhere in the world with any player of any level and demonstrate how that psychology is wrong. And here today for free, I will do it for you, right? Unless the uh, aperture corners are in the right position to uh, set the harmonic We've got the harmonic series on the pipe. Unless we are set perfectly, we're not going to excite the um, that open resonance. And check this out even further. So what am I doing here? So if I do it this way. Because we're not matching the resonance of the pipe, we're not getting the required uh, reflection. So the instrument has now become an amplifier of the mouthpiece buzz. But if I move the aperture corners to lock in with the pipe, There it is. There it is. There it is. Please share this. Can we get this out there? No ego. Just, you know, be wary when people say it is the way, the way it is. I saw it. I won't mention names, but I did see a master class from a very, very famous, famous trumpet player who I am friends with, but he got up in Melbourne and said, be really careful if anyone says this is the way it is. Be really dubious. But I'm going to show you the way that it is. <laughs> I just sat there and went, that's gold. It's gold. However, you cannot, well, you can dispute, you can question physics. But at the end of the day, I'm displacing air. If I clap softly, I'm displacing less air. If I, if I tap... Um, I've got a visualizer, and this is on a Manhasset music stand. Why does that sound different to to and wow? Why why does it sound different? They've, they've, I've seen the mathematical equations in um, Arthur H. Bernard's book of why all these things sound different. What resonates? You got the high frequencies and the low frequencies, and the density and the this and the that. I don't get it. Oh, these dudes are smart. All I know is that they sound different. And there's a reason for it, right? And the lips select the overtone and the tongue makes it sound good, right? So if I change the lip, this might be a bit tricky, change the lip but don't change the tongue position. Uh, 
yeah, it's so close and so intertwined that it's pretty hard to, yeah, on a semitone, decipher the difference between the two. However, the demonstration is this. <laughs> And then going from to there is a distinct change in shape between the A flat and the A. People say you blow faster. Oh, just stop. It is a change, a subtle change in the shape. But it's there. So all of a sudden, we're going this week from E to A. And at some stage between now and week five, most of you remember what we're doing. We're on the lookout for where turns into and the body kicks in without your control, out of your control, out of your control, right? <laughs> you know what I'm going to say. Anyone who's been watching the last couple of days knows, isn't that funny? The, that shows the power of the brain, the mere suggestion of things. Imagine playing the F above high C. Imagine if you're about to talk about the Alexander technique. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you need to go back and watch the previous days. Uh, and you need to watch, go up here, important reading. Am I the only dummy? You need to read that. And then important watching, wind works in the <laughs> Alexander technique. <laughs> I, 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 it's nuts. It's nuts. It's nuts. The fact that I just laugh whenever I think about it. And if you watch the video, well, not if you watch the video. If you don't watch the video, stop doing the challenge. That's how important it is to me. If you don't watch the video, unsubscribe from the course. If you don't watch the video, just go and go and find any book anywhere and just practice exercises. All right. If you watch the video, and I thankfully, someone put on the forum today, Greg, I watched the video all the way through. Now I've gone back to the Largo status stage. <sighs> I won't go on about it. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. I'll end up having no one at the course, no one watching here, because I'm saying go away unless you're prepared to learn. But that's kind of the way I feel about it. I'm not here to uh, waste time. I want you to learn. I want you to improve. And it's explained there. And it's... <laughs> See? Um, um, F. Matthias. I don't know what the F stands for. Alexander. Alexander Technique. He explains this. Zen in the Art of Archery. Read that. Um, fascinating. Fascinating, fascinating. I'm going to start. I'm not, I'm not going for the world's longest breath today. It's day one of week two. So all I'm doing today is going to fill out. So join in. I'm going to fill out the chart uh, and get a ballpark figure of where I'm at. And then as the week goes on, we start and really push the boundaries. But because I said it's about half an hour, it's going to be more than half an hour's practice because I'm going to be talking occasionally in between. But today I'm just, and it's early on a Sunday, I'm not going to be sitting here going for the world record of long notes, although it may happen when I'm not trying to. So I'm just going to go through it. Do some with me. Come back, go and have a break, have a coffee, do whatever, come back, watch it later. It's all recorded. If you're watching on YouTube, I'm going to put a link underneath so you can come and join the channel. Oh, I just recognized something. Hello, did anyone pick up on that? Week one. It's week two. Damn. 
Hang on a minute. <laughs> uh, I can't. I can't sit there and look at that. Yeah, won't be a second. Won't be a second. Won't be a second. What an oversight. I only put this page up this morning. And I hope <laughs> this has probably messed up the live stream through the page. We'll see. View page. Diddle -diddle. All right, let's see if the stream's still happening. That might have been a really stupid thing to do. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, hang on. Oh, I might have stuffed it up. Oh, well. Uh, week two. Here we go. So I'm going to start at 104. Yeah, if you're on the web page, I think, yeah, I probably shouldn't have done that. Uh, if you're on the web page, oh, good. No, we're live. We're beautiful. Awesome. So uh, if you haven't been here yet, um, I can't use the metronome here. Okay. Oh. <laughs> right, I, I can't use that because it, it, it comes to you straight away, but by the time it comes to my system, I'm hearing it late and delayed, so I'm doing it on my own uh, thing. Anyway, let's do it. I'm just going to fly through these, just get a ballpark figure of where we're at. I'm going to start at 104. So what I'm getting in the habit of doing, I haven't done any breathing practice. I've done no humming and singing uh, very quickly. Eyes closed, familiar or foreign. Open up, let the body resonate. Hum. Mm. I want the lips to interact with the air as if they're the focal cords. The breath in is the balloon. Fill it up. Passive. Mm. Mm. All right, here we go. So E to A, 104. See how long we can go for. <clears throat> First one of the day. What a nice way to start warming up. Happy Saturday night for my lovely friends in the USA. couldn't quite get to the 50, but, you know, that's pretty good. 45, first one of the day, you feel it, crikey, it's awesome. But make sure that process is adhered to. I'm rushing way ahead here if you haven't done the Largo status stage. This is not about doing as long as you can or as fast as you can, regardless of process. It's not that. It's making it feel like humming and singing. It's all about process. It's all about process. It's all about process. There's no point encouraging. <laughs> what am I going to talk about? Wow. I'm blown out by this. Amazing. Don't encourage old habits. When we're doing this, you can put a line through it when you're gigging, doing your other practice, playing. Don't throw all of your old habits out when you're playing. You still need to make a living, 
or you still need to play in your band or whatever you're working on. But when you're doing this stuff, it's a process. It's really important. Uh, if you've got a visualizer, no, I'll do this, do this later. I just thought of it before. I should have done it before. I haven't put this video in the... I've put it on the website, but I haven't put it in the course. I'll come back to it. All right, 108. So that's showing you that 45 seconds is about it's it's you know it's a deep breath it's not the biggest breath that I can take but as I said I'm not trying to uh, go for as long as possible and get the the you know the longest ever I'm just taking what I could a comfortable full breath without going into mega extension uh, there'll be time for that in the next few days and it doesn't matter what speed you're doing it at it doesn't matter how long you can do it it's we're all in our own trip there will be people out there well they probably won't be watching this because if they're if their average breath is a minute and their top speed is 208 for 45 seconds or something there are people out there that can do that and so they probably won't be looking at this, but maybe they would be. Maybe they want it. Maybe everyone wants to get better, you know. Um, uh, it's all in the name of efficiency, expansion. And, yeah, so don't, don't sacrifice process to try and go as fast as I'm going now if it's too fast for you. And, again, doing them slowly is – Doing crotchets or quarter notes at 60 can be really challenging because you've got all this time between notes and then you'll notice if you've got... You've got all this opportunity and time between notes to actually tense up and kick. So just appreciate where you're at and have that magnifying glass out. Okay. 100. Do it with me. Set your metronome. I'm slowly learning. If I've learned anything from the first week, it's look at the clock. I'll start on the four. shows that's like I'm um, you know I'm, I'm filling up but I'm not doing some tricks that you can do to get a little bit more air in the body just and and you would have anyone who watched yesterday 
So let me do the, so it's 50, cool. Um, the Paul Mayer idea of basically hyperventilate before you play. <laughs> and then the body can just keep its cool while you're doing it. 112, are you with me? We're getting through this. I have a feeling if I jump across here, oh no, no, I was wrong. I thought there might be a dude named Sean going, oh no, no, he won't be here. He's in a tent skydiving. Um, right. Here we go. So 112, set the metronome. <clears throat> Remind yourself, check in. At the course, there's a little ding, like a bell counter, just every so often to remind you, am I maintaining that feeling when I'm playing, even towards the end when I'm out of air, is it still, ah, 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 or is it this, right? And uh, there was something else. Hum. Mm -hmm. I want the lips to interact with the, the air to interact with the lips as if they're the vocal cords. Does it feel the same? This is critical awareness of the problem is half the solution. If you can recognize a difference in the body when you're doing these harmonic slurs, if you're kicking to go up to the high note, the big problem that we have with range and everything is we don't know the shape of the note, so we compensate by using massive air pressure. The body's way too strong for what we need to do playing a brass instrument. And when we don't know the shape, the body kicks in. That's akin to going, I don't know where to... I don't know where to put my finger on the string. I don't know I don't know where the note is, but I need a higher note, so I'm going to strum harder to try and find it. Clearly, that's not a smart thing to do, but that's what we do instinctively. So if you can recognise that, that's the way to eliminate it. Okay? Here we go. 112. And <laughs> I think I started at the 12, but I'm not sure. I think I started at the 12. So if that's the case, I get 45. Okay. Again, it doesn't matter how far you go as long as you're doing it. And throughout the week, you come back and try and expand on where it is that you're at. But isn't that interesting? The, there's quite a consistency here. And so at this speed, for me... It's not the speed that is the problem. It's just the air. I'm in control of the harmonic slur. I know that I'm <clears throat> <coughs> I know that I'm not manipulating. There's no choking up <coughs> going into that. There's none of that going on. So one could argue that going back to the 60s, a waste of time. So I'm not going to do that with you today. We're going to we're going to move forward because we've we've clearly established my tempo limit, uh, my, my my duration limit, my time limit. All right. So I'm just I'm just going to call it time limit and speed limit, and I'll do a couple of little uh, just little diagrams, red circle line through it, speed limit, and time limit. So you can you can see there. I mean, there's you could argue that the 100, I went for extra five seconds because of the slow, uh, slower tempo, but that's not the case. Radio. 
So now what I want to do, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So if I go to 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. All right, I'm going to do 160. So at these tempos here, once we've established, and again, if, if, if you're doing eighth notes, quavers, your, your speed limit might be... 152 so you can get one beat at 52 but you can't get two you can get one beat of quarter notes so da di dum da di dum da di dum but you can't go da di da di dum because something falls apart so you're limited to one beat but you can't get da di dum at 160 you cannot lock it so that's your speed limit right there at 152 is your speed limit and your duration time limit that's what we're looking for so when we've established that in the chart then the first day here is the longest one to fill out the chart but after that um just come back and try and it's up to you how much you do you can come back and do all of them all the way through, or you can just find a couple of boxes and go, right, today I'm going to tick that box, tick that box, try and increase my speed limit with pure process, try and increase my time limit with pure process, and you're done. It's the rule of diminishing returns. Eight hours of harmonic slow practice is not eight times better than one hour's harmonic slow practice. And even one hour of harmonic slow practice is too much. You're better off practicing at your limits and then putting a line through it and going on to your music. Music, 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 music. Um, I sacrificed way too many hours on technical development with the psychology that I need to get stronger and I need to repeat and repeat and repeat and repeat and repeat uh, these exercises over and over to get better at them. No, 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 no. The more fatigued the body gets, the less responsive it is. If you go to a gym, and clearly I go to the gym all the time, but if, if you go to the gym in the morning, do a workout, you don't go back at, you know, lunchtime and dinner time getting the same benefit. You need, the body needs time to, uh, to grow. So with us, it's not so much musculature, but training, programming, refining the, uh, the system. And it just takes time. But you, if, if you were dedicated to this, you would have seen every week, every day from week one, they're all on the page. Down the bottom of the page, all of the videos are there. And I think week seven's up the top, uh, day seven's up the top, but the rest of them are at the bottom. You work through it every day, you will see my development, right? And if I'm practising more than anyone else, this is madness. It's madness. I'm saying no to gigs that everyone wants. And it's just because I don't want to do it. I want to do this. So consider that. Consider it. I need to be just doing a bit more every day. You can see throughout the week, especially day six, the, the um, things where I stepped up. And I can feel it now. I can feel the benefit of week one flowing through here. Choice is yours. I'll do 160. I'll start at the six. Oh, no. Excuse me. I just made an error. I'm going to do it one beat, two beats, four beats, eight beats, and see how long we can go for. I'm up to five seconds. I have to watch the clock. Okay, 
So, just so you know, there must be a loose wire in this damn thing. It's driving me crazy. Uh, there were a couple of not quite nailed uh, bars there. I would, if I was just practicing here on my own, I wouldn't tick that. But I know that I can fix it. But I won't tick it until I know that I'm in control of it. But for purpose of today, I'm going to tick it. Get on to 15. And I, I don't, I'm not sure that I'll get 15. <laughs> no, so it's it's just wavering a lot. Consider this is right now, right there. This is the point. I can do five seconds absolutely comfortably. So logic says you can do ten seconds. Logic says you can do twenty seconds. Logic says you can do forty seconds. So on. So what is the difference between the ten second and the fifteen second? What happens? It's not strength. It's just the fact that the body is not 100% familiar yet subconsciously with that driving of, of, of that. It's just not ready for it yet. I just find that really fascinating. So how awesome to come back tomorrow and go, radio. I could do 10 seconds, but I couldn't do 15. Let's get 15. And you can't do it. That's okay. In the process of doing that, 10 seconds, you're becoming more aware of your system. You're more able to look with the magnifying glass to <gasps> it's the same thing. It's the same airflow. It's the same feeling. The lips are the vocal cords. The vocal cords are the lips, right? And then you're freeing up and freeing up over that 10 second period. And when you least expect it, and I've had it happen before, when you least expect it, all of a sudden you get 15 seconds and even 20 seconds and even 25 seconds. The body just takes time, but we just need to invite it and expose to it your limitations. So my time limit at 160 is 10 seconds. How powerful is that? It's awesome. Here we go. Six, 168. Five seconds. Again, it was it was a bit dodgy, but I know that I can get that, so I, I'll move on. But if I wasn't doing it live, it's a time thing. If you're at home and you're not convinced that you've got it, go back and do it just to make sure that you've got it. Ten seconds. get 10 seconds. Maybe I could with a few attempts, but for now, it's only day one. Let's move on. Now, I'm really keen to uh, go back and have a look at the week one chart, but I don't want you to. I want you to have taken a screenshot of week one and hide it in a folder and not look at it. Because that's Christmas time come five weeks' time when you go through. Uh, that's why I, I want – we're, we're going to put a reset button on it as well. But my awesome uh, buddy who takes care of all the tech stuff is just flat out 
under the pump with a baby and his full-time job at a, a uh, merchant bank and how much fun are they having at the moment? Uh, oh, no, it's a big accounting firm, big accounting firm. Um, and so he's going to get to this, but we just I just need to be a little bit patient, but it will be done. So we're going to have a reset button and we'll put 144 in the chart. Uh, that's awesome. Okay, 152. seconds. I actually wanted to keep going then. <clears throat> Again, um, actually, I'm not going to tick that. It's it's not there. All right, 176. <laughs> Just stops. seconds. So it's going to be a challenge. Yeah, it's, it's there, but it's not there. I was just thinking during this, if you know people that would benefit from it, can you get them onto it? Can you get them to share? It, it's it's really good stuff. <laughs> uh, you know, there's a million school kids around that should be doing this. It won't cost them anything. You know, but I, I can guarantee school kids will be killing themselves doing it. But if they do the free Largo stage and get the points of what we're working on, eyes closed, mm, all that. I teach a couple of eight-year-old kids. There's The sound they make is incredible. And I've got zero tolerance for manipulation. Why allow them to indulge in overexertion when all it's going to do is come back and there'll be someone on the forum when they're 35 years old pulling their freaking hair out? Can you get people onto it? Just get people doing it. Come and join me. You know, there's I'm getting a bunch of emails. There's people all over the place playing it, but it's it's such a logical, smart thing to do. I, it just it, it, it frustrates me that. Um, it doesn't frustrate me. It makes me a bit sad that people aren't really uh, doing dedicated focus practice. It's so logical. 138. <clears throat> Oh, 
I didn't look at the clock, but it was five seconds. funny how uh, again that I mean we're doing a lot of it so the body's going enough 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 but have a look at this have a look at the what, what we're on the verge of we've got 112 all the way down here what's going to happen in these four tempos incredible right and at 138 it's not a breath limitation at 112 it's not a time limitation. So in this period right here is where time limits and speed limits meet. How cool is that? It's really cool. I'll just check that there's no comments or anything. No, cool. Radio, 184. Some people are sleeping. You're getting results. need to look at the chart from last week to know that I was nowhere near that. I'm not going to say any more on it. I, I need to try for 15. I didn't get 10, didn't get close to that. Close. All right, cool. 132. Now I'm going to go for as long as I can. I'm not going to do it. Stop, 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 stop. So there's 25, it, 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 it fluctuated a bit, but that's okay. So, up, dump, 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 15, 20, 25. So the gap grows. So I look at that and go, isn't that interesting? There's a little anomaly there. So I'm just going to go back to 138. There is no rules about how to approach this. You can do it your own way as long as you've got the concept of it. But I would, I'm sitting here just doing a practice routine. I would go, that's interesting. I might just try 138 again and see if I can up that. I didn't look at the clock. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
So it got to 20. Amazing, 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 amazing. So 15 and 20. That makes more sense. All right, move on to 192. Now remember, you don't have to do this every day. If you did do exactly what we did every day, everything that we've done today, if you were to repeat that every day for a week, look out, you will not believe how your playing opens up, as long as the process is right. The concept is to come back and just tick a box, like I did just then. Hang on, that I should be able to get that. Tick an extra box. Tick an extra box. Tick an extra box. And there's a there's a glaring other one there too, isn't there? That one right there. I might come back to that a bit later on. 192. Six, okay, so I jumped ahead. So I did four and I did eight. Five seconds. Yeah, so I'm, I'm really close. Really close. I can feel what's just stopping it, but I feel like I'm on the verge of letting go. <clears throat> It was good, it was good, it wavered, and I'm, um, you know, let's not try and do break every record on the first day, but it was so close, I'm going to give it one more go. Uh, I can't, I can't tick it, I can't tick it, I can't tick it, can't tick it. 126. Any comments, any questions, please. Oh, no, that's what I was going to do. Bear with me for a second here. Uh, oh, see, sorry. Yeah. Oh, no, is that from yesterday? Oh, it is. Um, hang on. Sorry. Let me, because I, I, I want to um, get the comments. How do I refresh this page? I've got my iPad here, so I'm still learning how to do this all properly, and there are ways of getting comments on the screen. I just haven't figured it out yet. Uh, here we go. Okay, cool. So there's no comments. Oh, hang on. There is one. So oh, I'm no, still learning don't... how to do this all yeah. properly, and there are Shut ways... Shut up, Greg. Comment. Brian, I just haven't figured it out oh, yet. Oh, for goodness sake. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Here we go. No. no. So there's no comments. Oh, hang on. There is one. Oh, crikey. So... Okay. Clearly. <laughs> I just snorted. Here we go. 126. So again, I'm just going to go for the duration now, I'm not breaking it down per beat. So that actually, that turned into an air issue. So I got 
7.30.35. See, it's incremental. It's weird, huh? So this is where time limit and speed limit meet. It's really interesting. I find it interesting. Maybe I'm nuts. So to 200, we do it beat by beat. <laughs> it's pretty brutal, but it'll do. Six, seven, eight, one. Yeah. All right. So if you guys have been watching, oops. If you guys have been watching what's happened in the last week, you'll see what's happening here. Need five seconds. Yes, I'm not going to give it to myself. Nope, 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 nope. Come back tomorrow. 120. Oops. <clears throat> Any questions, thoughts, criticisms, queries? Stock market, oh, stock market tips. Sell all your shares. <laughs> Do it now. Right. So I need to get a bit serious. In fact, you can feel the lungs and everything stretching. All right, uh, 120. So that was 50, and that that's interesting because that is on the brink of – oh, that's crazy. How did that happen? Whoa. Okay. It, it, it felt like I was in control, but I was on the edge of not being in control of it. What a cool thing to recognize. 208. <clears throat> uh, 
Again, it's the eight second barrier on 208. If the rest of it's better, I know it. 116. Excuse me for just burping. <laughs> All this air. So what I'm going to do here, if apologies if, You've seen it before, but Paul Mayer doing the um, beautiful video. Actually, I should post it here so you can see it. That Arben characteristic study number one, he does the whole intro in one breath. And he actually, uh, there's a great video of him talking about it, and he, he sort of almost hyperventilates just before he goes to do it. A couple of big deep breaths in. When I'd taken the breath, there was no way I was going to get there. But it was 50, so it's good. Check, check, check. So we could easily say that's it. We're done. How cool is that? Day one, and we've filled out our chart. We've found our time limits. We've found our speed limits. Then we come back and every day just try and check another box. Have a look at the progression of the time. It's really cool. If you teach, there are, there are, uh, have I got the link up here? There you go. Print out your free practice progress charts. There they are. All right, and they're 60. It only goes up to 20 seconds. Great, you know, great for, for kids and stuff. Then this one starts at 80, up to 176. This one starts at 96, up to 208. Print it out. In fact, I probably should have had everyone. Maybe I should have done that. No, no, because it doesn't. I'm going to, yeah, okay. I'm going to do another one. I'm going to get you to print it out, and we'll use the digital chart, and at the end of the week, we're going to go across and fill out the ink one and then put it in an envelope and hide it. <laughs> right. See, by the time I've done this a few times, I'll have it nailed. Cool. Thank you for helping me with that one. <laughs> get your kids doing it. Get your kids humming. Get your kids recognizing Body's Concert Hall. Show them a balloon. Show them that you don't have to squeeze. There's your lungs. Mm, I want the lips to interact with the air as if they're the vocal cords. This video is going to be on this page. It's going to stay on the Facebook page. It's going to stay on YouTube. It's going to stay in the Mystery to Mastery site. Can you please show them? It's really important. It's not normally the way that people are teaching. 
It's not the normal psychology that that people have, but it works. Works, it works, it works. And the thing is it enables you to recognize manipulation. You've got your point of difference. You know what you want it to feel like. You understand the system, but you can't do it. You can do it, but at a slower tempo for a shorter amount of time. Really important. I'm going to try just a couple to finish up. Knock that 176 out. Gonna have another crack at 208. If you've got any questions, put them through in the comments and I'll answer them. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. I was there. At least I'm not kidding myself there, am I? Four. No, yeah, I've lost it. I didn't get it that time and I don't get it all the time, but I'm going to go. I nailed that first one. No, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll come back. If you watch <laughs> the first week and you see what I'm doing there, the reason that I had to count was that eight beats because it's just feeling easier. What's the point? The point is, and I, you know, I said I was going to work on. <laughs> See, my fingers are the part letting me down here. Having that change of shape without engaging the body and the lower note is louder and I saw a beautiful video of Sergei Sergei Nakaryakov <laughs> sorry about that uh, it's effortless 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 loud low note soft high notes on that stuff for years and years and years and years and years and musically it actually doesn't imp uh, thrill me that much uh, but a lot of people like doing it you know in fact I should do it on all right so I could use we, we're going to use the progress charts for tonguing that's going to be the next challenge um, but for the just I need to have some pieces to have as a, a goal piece to I'm not going to go out and perform this piece I'm not interested in doing that but if I can get better at it it's you know a nice way of seeing the technical development and I don't think up here for my Melbourne friends <laughs> you go through triple the valve oil up here because of the humidity even now I've got the air conditioner on uh, so I shouldn't brag but the, my valves are really slaggy It's going to be a finger workout. Take the instrument away. It's 
Passiv. If you were here, you will not feel a thing engage. It's not, you can tell when I'm talking at the end. There's no engagement. As I start running out of air, there is an engagement. That's why we're doing the charts, and that's why we find where time limits and uh, speed limits meet and so that that section around here was really interesting all right unless there's um some questions and great work greg love the concept thank you thank you buddy um awesome thank you uh i'm gonna finish i'm gonna finish please share it please get people doing this it's just so obvious and logical and you know <laughs> giving up my life of performing to try and get this damn out there uh Love your work. Thanks for watching. And to you guys who got up on a Sunday morning, I don't see anyone. It is Saturday night in the States, so they can watch it later. Um, but if you're on YouTube, subscribe down below. It's free. Practice progress charts will work. Awesome. See you tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow will be 7 p.m., uh, which will be in the morning in Europe and the UK. All the very best. Have a great day. I'm going to go out and... See a band and have some barbecue. <laughs> See ya. Uh, what am I doing here?